Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. This is a slightly unusual podcast today, insofar that I'm travelling at the moment towards Sydney. I'm going to be involved in an interview session this afternoon with 60 Minutes, and uh, I understand that's uh, going to be broadcast in the next couple of weeks. And the topic in question is, surprise, surprise, housing. So I think we'll be discussing all the normal sorts of issues, including housing affordability, mortgage stress, the recent uh, questions about whether interest rates are going to go up or down, and to be frank, our expectations about future home prices. Now of course there's always a lot to say, and I'm not quite sure who else is going to be involved in the conversation, but I understand that there are going to be several other people also contributing, so I'll be able to give you a bit of an update later on. We're just on the, uh, the main road at the moment. It's worth also reflecting that the scenarios that we discussed the other day on the live stream highlighted the fact that uh, our expectation is that home prices will continue to grind south. And um, in fact the rate of decline looks as though it's increasing looking at the latest data that we've just seen. And so the scenario of 20% or more on average is certainly very likely now. And in some cases I think that could be um, at the lower end of expectations. I think it could actually be even higher depending on types of property and locations. And uh, again, as we said on the live stream the other night, uh, it's Melbourne and Sydney that are moving uh, fastest. But I've noticed some trends recently in Melbourne which are particularly concerning because the rate of deacceleration in home prices looks to be quite significantly faster than Sydney. And of course we showed the other week that even in Sydney there are some home prices down now in some postcodes by 22% in a year. That's quite a significant change. So I'll um, do a little bit more on this as we go and uh, hopefully we'll be able to take some background shots during the shoot and I'll report back way back as to what we discussed. I'll talk to you later. going in to record an interview. Yes, sir. Just now we're just sitting here.
Okay, there we go. Okay. So, I'm now in the uh, filming room and we've done a little bit of uh, stuff to camera this afternoon. It's been very interesting. We've been talking about uh, all of the issues to do with property prices and uh, what may happen, monetary policy, and those things. Um, those of you who saw my live stream earlier in the, in the week will recognise many of the things that we discussed. And what was fascinating was that there's a sense of, well, is there a crisis or isn't there a crisis? So you'll have to watch 60 Minutes to see whether you think there is or whether you think there isn't. So here we are, back in the car, having spent uh, time with the production crew for the last hour or so. Had a very interesting discussion, talked about uh, a lot of the issues that we touch on on the blog regularly. And uh, the program will be out in about three weeks' time, so I'll be interesting to see what they do with the material. I'm not going to tell you too much about what we discussed because I don't want to spoil their party. But you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar that everything that uh, was on the blog was covered. So we're now in a traffic jam trying to get out of Sydney. We're just in the tunnel. Well hello again, we've come out of the tunnel now and uh, heading south out of the city. The traffic's not too bad. Um, it was a bit uh, dicey in the tunnel itself but it uh, looks a little better now. And um, A very interesting session today as we went through the discussion around housing and finance. We, talked, we discussed the, the Irish situation and parallels between Ireland and Australia and we also discussed um, some of the strategies that could be considered in terms of dealing with some of the household debt issues. It was quite a wide range of discussion. Now of course I don't know how much of that will actually end up in the final program but uh, we covered quite a lot of ground nevertheless. One of the fun things was then they decided to film me on my blogging camera and then they're going to use that possibly in the program and then they've asked me to send them a copy of the blog footage so that they can incorporate it if they choose to. It'd be interesting to see whether they do that so you might get a little bit of extra coverage with regards to the DFA site. Anyhow, we're heading home now, so I'm going to end this particular program here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. If you like what you've seen here today, please like the post and add a comment or question. I do answer and read them all. And if you would like to support what we do, then please consider joining our Patreon program. There's a link to that. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.